So you have a diesel tractor that won't start when it's cold out. I'm going to show you why it won't start, and I'm going to show you how to fix it for like 150 bucks. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so you got an old diesel farm tractor like what I got, an old weapon like this. And the first time that it got real cold out this winter, it wouldn't start. You cranked and cranked and cranked and cranked until the battery was dead. Nothing. You might even have had it plugged in, and it still wouldn't start. So here's how you fix that, guys. The trouble is with a diesel engine, it doesn't work like a gas engine. It works on compression alone. The engine has to compress the air in the combustion chamber so hot that it ignites the fuel. So the compression is like five times higher than it is in a gas engine. That takes a lot of cranking, a lot of battery cranking, and you got to get it nice and hot or it's not going to start. So one of the first things you can do to fix that is install a proper block heater, a circulating block heater. So right here is the unit I bought. It's a circulating heater, okay? It's got right here, there's the, there's the, there's the inlet, which is on the, the, try and find the very lowest point on the block that you can. You can use the lower rad hose if you, if you have to. That's fine too. But I found this port right here. I used it. It's the lowest point on the block. It draws it out, it heats it, and it pumps it up. And I put it in right there. Now, it may differ where you're going to put it in on your machine, because might, you might have different fittings, of course. But I had a port right there that I threw a hose barb in and ran it there. So that, that circulates the, the coolant all the way from the bottom, pumps it up and all the way around, and it keeps going around and around and around. <clears throat> it'll warm that engine up in an hour warm enough to start in minus 20 celsius no problem whatsoever originally this machine had a block heater right here there was a heating element in this little housing right here all it did was heat this little area right here and so that's not enough you want to be able to heat the whole combustion chamber all the way across and that's what this thing will do for you, because it circulates the coolant all through the water jacket and warms it right up. Okay, guys, so I bought that little um, circulating heater unit, coolant heater unit, for I think it was about $130 off Amazon. Um, that's pretty cheap insurance, I think. Um, a lot of those normal block heaters just aren't enough. Now, it's worth mentioning that this old machine doesn't have glow plugs in it. So you don't have that starting aid like a lot of newer machines will have. Little glow plugs for each cylinder to help you get going. And that makes all the difference in the world. But I had several older farm tractors when I was a teenager on the farm that were like this. And I remember my dad buying one of these. This, these have been around for years and years and years. It was at least 30 years ago, maybe more, that my dad installed one of these, and they're fantastic. This will solve a lot of trouble. Your tractor will fire right up, no problem at all. It's also, also worth mentioning, if you're going to keep this outside, a lot of guys, I see a lot of guys, with, they don't really have a shop to put it in or a shed to put it in, and they leave it outside. That'll still work. But it's worth wrapping it in a, in a tarp or a, a canvas blanket or something to keep the heat in. If you have a real high wind chill, cold, cold wind, the heater will struggle to keep up. But if you throw a, throw a tarp over that, it'll keep the heat in and, and she'll fire up. I've done that many times and it works fantastic. It's also worth mentioning as an FYI, guys, I have this uh, plugged into a timer. Uh, this is a seven-day timer. Um, it has several programs in it. You can pro I can program it to suit my uh, whatever shift I'm on or what my routine is. Like I said, it only takes an hour or so for that to get warm enough to heat up. So you don't want, it's not necessary to have it plugged in constantly. You're not going to want that because... 
That heater does gobble a fair bit of hydro. It's it's a 1500 watt element in there, so it, it probably draws more like eight to ten amps, I would say. And uh, that's a fair bit. You're gonna you'll see a noticeable difference on your hydro bill if you leave it plugged in constantly. So it's it's worth spending. I think this was fifty dollars. It's definitely worth spending the money to to have a timer. Okay, guys, there it is. Problem solved for $150. So make sure that you buy some decent hose for this job. Um, it's it, you don't want to use just regular garden hose. It's not it won't take the heat. You want to have a decent a decent heater hose. So, so spend a few dollars on that. You'd be glad you did. All right. Uh, if you haven't seen the how I repaired the crappy hydraulics on this machine, some hydraulic troubleshooting, I'd watch that one next, guys, okay? Talk to you soon.